Well, neighbors in the couple's neighborhood were shocked to hear their NFL star neighbor is at the center of this tragedy. They say he and his girlfriend were a pleasure to live next door to. Beth Vaughn is live outside the home where this murder-suicide began. Yeah, Krista, police tell us a fight between Javon Belcher and Cassandra Perkins broke out in a home right behind me, and this all sparked a very deadly series of events. Now, neighbors tonight tell me they're confused as to why. A tragedy that ended near Arrowhead Stadium began about five miles away in a neighborhood where Javon Belcher and his girlfriend, Cassandra Perkins, rented a home. How close it actually was to my house, and like, if he would have walked up the street and could have hurt more people. Age doesn't matter today. Everyone who lives on this block understands the magnitude of what happened here. We're the oldest one of the oldest ones in this neighborhood and never seen anything like that. Like I said, I come out this morning, I was surprised to see the news trucks here. Neighbors tell us the couple moved into this rental home six months ago, around the time of training camp. They were friendly, never fighting in public. In fact, they welcomed a baby three months ago. And it's, it's no different than anybody else, you know, but it's just like, you know, him being, you know, a public figure representing our city and our team, it just, it hits home that much more. Shock from those who once felt starstruck about living near a Chiefs linebacker, and sadness from others who tell me, no matter what the situation, a gun should have never entered the picture. Information about Cassandra has been limited until now. One of our reporters, Alicia Myers, just spoke with one of her close friends. Alicia, what did you find out? That's right, Beth. Well, actually, one of the friends actually stopped by for the first time, and it's we haven't seen very many friends. This woman was actually dropping off some flowers on the front porch, and she said that she's known Cassandra for many years. They went to school together. She said they were also pregnant together and really enjoyed becoming moms together. Let's take a listen to what she had to say about Cassandra. This person I knew, very generous, kind. Um, everyone she met fell in love with her. She was amazing, a really good friend. Now, many friends are continuing to reach out via Facebook and Twitter. We do imagine that many more will be stopping by tonight to leave many more flowers on the doorstep as they continue to mourn the loss of one of their best friends. Right now, we're live in Kansas City. Alicia Myers, 41 Action News.